For this analysis, let's first look at this 114 mile power pass. This was done on 6S with the SMC Speed Run Drag Series 250C discharge lipo. Gear it out. I have my curved turn fin set at positive 3 tenths of a degree, down from positive 5 tenths of a degree. Reading. This is because it's my first run with the TP Power 2580 kV motor. And I'm running an ABC 1921 prop with a 19 degree rake angle. Full trigger. On this pass, I got through the transition much quicker with this slightly wetter setup. And I held full trigger for almost three seconds. I run this pattern to not only get a flying start in a smallish reservoir, but I'm using a rooster tail to help line up my pass. Initially, the rudder's not very effective. Now I got it lined up and I'm going through my transition. I've reached full trigger and I can see my peripheral vision that I'm going deep into the corner for a nice clean run. I don't find this 6S setup particularly hard to drive. I still have to go through my setup to make this run. But if you watch the rooster tail, you don't see it pulsing from me feathering the trigger trying to hold it down the transition. It's a nice smooth rooster tail through the transition. Get the full trigger. The boat is just staying down on the water beautifully for a stress-free pass. For my first run on 8S, I've changed to an 1817 prop with a 17 degree rake angle. Zero it out. I am thinking I'm needing a lot less prop with the RPMs this is going to be pulling. Reading. And with this much power, I'm really wanting to keep it on the water. So playing it safe, going with a 17 degree rake angle. So this is the importance to me of incremental changes to known settings. Not only do you have to watch the boat and feel it, Water looks clean, no debris. We got some glass. And make your runs and then figure out what changes you need to make to make it better. So this first run, I know I have a lot of power on 8S for this high KB motor. Not even close to full throttle. Wow, I was standing up. So I got a transition where I'm feathering the throttle a lot. Let's see what we got. And I did it for too long and never got to uh, full trigger early enough. These are the first three runs that I ever made with this motor on 8S and I am really out of sorts. I have no idea what's going on and I'm seeing things I have never seen before. Woo, she started to wake up there. I know the pulsing in the rooster tail during a transition is from my finger jumping on the throttle. My goodness. Man, it's got so much response to the throttle. I'd have to think about my adjustments. But I have no clue about the high RPMs and the hopping. It doesn't get any better 
on my third run and I take a bad line. One more. We'll check temps. Oh, bad line. Bluetooth. There we go. So I pushed it through the transition, and even though I got a little more speed, I got more of the same result. Hundred nine. It just comes on so strong. I can't run it in here. <laughs> what a shame. I try it again, but if I'm being honest, I don't have a clue what's wrong with my setup. All right, let this set on here. Even watching this video, this is a mess going on here and I have no idea what to change to fix this. Only 101? I was making a smooth transition, but what was causing that hopping in the back? Are the extreme RPMs because the prop is actually leaving the water? I wasn't sure what the answer was. I had to ponder this for a couple days. You should be able to tell by now that it's not all smooth fast runs like you see on the videos I post. Okay, zeroed out. And if I'm being 100% honest, I'm not even sure I can get this right. Reading. I'm having serious doubts about running this TP2580 KV motor on 8S. Okay, driving is going to really matter on 8S. This is a wild ride. Hopefully it'll be better with this prop. All right, wish me luck. But I'm back to try again with some changes to my setup. I can tell you I am walking on eggshells driving the boat. Yep, too long in the transition. The best that I could figure was that 17 degree rake angle was giving me too much lift in the back. And also that I needed more prop. Man, it's like just touch the throttle a bit more trying to go to full trigger and it's almost leaping off the water. I'm going to talk over me fussing about how hard this boat is to drive on 8S and discuss the other change I made to this setup. I've lowered the curved turn fin from positive three tenths of a degree to positive one tenth. And that's because I got a higher rake angle prop. So I'm just trying to balance it in the front, the change I made to the back of the boat. I'm taking a shot here with this combination in my setup. So it's the turn fin at positive one tenth of a degree and the 18, 20, 22 degree rake prop. So let's see how this goes. I keep running because I can see the rooster tail when I come out of here on my line versus a stand and start. And so it looks like I've landed on the right combination with my setup. 
I wanted to do this analysis and share this with you so that you would know that you just got to keep trying. Let's enjoy the rest of this video. All right, let's try it again. Now that corner a little faster. That was full trigger for a bit. Let's check that one. Wow. Okay, so no hop in the rear. But man, is that standing tall. All right, let's see how we did. No way. <laughs> oh my goodness. Unreal. 119 out of the gate. Let's go home. New PR for the zip kits. JAE33FE.